Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to uh, talk about why the cops couldn't get to that level. Why they did as good as can be expected and Carnegie Hall. Okay, we're going to do this because I got a message. And it's not, uh, it's not an uncommon question. So, I'm wondering why you said the cops did as well as could be reasonably expected, in quotes. I listened to a podcast by an ex-Green Beret who said the cops operated at the highest level you could expect from cops, in quotes. Both of you have always stressed training. Why the reluctance to want them to up their game? That's not a gotcha question. I'm genuinely curious why it seems like cops can't get it perfect. I'm sending this to him, too, in hopes that one of you replies. Okay, so this is about the cops in Nashville. And right after the footage came out, there were a bunch of critiques that came out about some of the stuff that they did, which wasn't perfect. Okay. Those critiques, first, I would like to point out that most of them are gone now because the community that they were being compared to, that the, the, the cops were being compared to, came out and was basically like, look, unless you've gone through a door yourself, shut the hole under your nose. Um, but the critiques were comparing the cops to like the top tier of the U.S. military, like the best of the best when it comes to shooters and people who do this. That was the comparison that was being made, and it's not realistic, and it's also impossible. Getting patrol cops to that level, it's, it's not really a thing that can happen. Okay, how do you become the best of the best. The same way you get to Carnegie Hall. Practice, right? Training, lots and lots and lots of training with each other. All training together. If you take cops and they're on a schedule that involves that much training together, where are they not? They're not on patrol, which means they're not the cops who show up first. To get them to the standard that internet commandos were trying to hold them to, it, it takes so much training that if they had been involved in that level of training, they wouldn't have been the ones that went in. If you do that, you end up just creating another SWAT team. But the SWAT team isn't the first group to show up. Um, and to be clear, the critiques were, I don't want to say unfounded, because technically, yes, you know, you shouldn't flag somebody, you know. It, but when you're talking about real life, and it's a real situation, and you're, at the end of it, they accomplished the mission. And they're not top tier. They're cops. And you, you can't have it both ways. They can't be patrol officers and, and be trained to the level that allows them to, to meet the standards that were being imposed on them. Um, and it's important to remember that this stuff is a perishable skill. It's not like you can go and train for eight weeks and then never train again. It's a constant thing. And then the other thing that you have to keep in mind is the mindset that develops when you constantly train to do that. You don't want that person to be a patrol officer anymore. Um, so... The goal of departments should not be to get every cop to that level. The goal of departments should be to get them good enough to do it and complete the mission. That's, it's not that people are opposed to 
them training. It's that getting them to the the level that those critiques were based on is is going to prohibit them from being first on the scene. It's not going they won't be patrol officers anymore. So it's self-defeating. Uh, that's, and I, I would imagine that the Green Beret, whose podcast you listen to, is probably going to have a more colorful and probably more detailed answer. Um, but that's the general part of it there is that the level of training it takes to get to the level that people apparently wanted them to be at, uh, it it prohibits them from also being patrol officers. You know, it's, I guess, not just do they want them to do it, you know, quickly and successfully, they have to look pretty doing it too. Um, I think that's kind of unreasonable. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.